G'day, it's Dan Beeston from Mac Tuts Plus. There's so much content out there these days that I, I never get a chance to watch half of what I want to. At the same time, I seem to waste so much time on the train just staring into space. I'd love to watch video then, but it's just so much work to get them onto my devices. But it doesn't have to be. Today, MacTut is all about getting your computer set up to move video onto your iPhone with a single click. Now, iTunes is pretty helpful getting content onto your device. If you buy a movie or a TV show in iTunes Store, then that will immediately move into your TV shows folder or your movies folder. Then it's a simple question of setting up your iPhone, going to TV shows, making sure that it's synced, yes, automatically watch all unwatched episodes, or if you've only got a small amount of space on there, you can change that to the three newest or five newest. And when you hit apply, or every time you sync your phone and plug it in, it will move straight onto the device and be ready to watch. Now, the only problem is, if you're like me, you'll hit the download button and then wander off to cook a chicken masala or something. And then the next day you'll be on the train and suddenly you'll go, oh, I forgot to finish synchronizing. We could take care of that issue as well. Now, your iPhone doesn't have to be plugged into your computer to update. Just move to the summary page and click sync with this iPhone over Wi-Fi. It's a lot slower than syncing it via a cable, but if you've wandered off, then speed is not the issue. Now, when you plug it in, it'll automatically synchronize whatever video you've downloaded straight onto your phone. But what if you forget to synchronize? What if you forget to plug it in? We've still got that problem. We're going to solve that problem using folder actions. We're going to start up Automator. We're going to make a new folder action. And we're going to choose the correct folder. Now, if you go to TV shows, right click and show in Finder, you'll see that in the iTunes directory under iTunes Media, they separate all your content into movies and TV shows. So there's the X-Files, Season 6, and there's our new file. Now, every time you download a TV show, it's going to categorize itself under TV shows. So what we want is for whenever a file is added to any folder under TV shows, for a new folder action to occur. So we just need to drag that folder there. And now whenever anything changes in the TV shows directory, whatever is in here will occur. Now what we want to do is go to utilities and we are going to run an Apple script. Don't freak out, it's going to be a really easy one. Very easy to follow. All we're going to do is we're going to tell the application that's called iTunes to update. And now, whenever you run that, you'll see that your iPhone synchronizes across the Wi-Fi. There's nothing to synchronize, so it didn't take very long at all. Now we got to save that as update TV. We also want this to happen whenever anything goes into the movies directory as well. So we'll duplicate it. Grab the movies directory. Save it as update move. Already exists from before. Bob's your uncle. Now, whenever you download anything from the iTunes store and it ends up in either of these two folders, it will automatically force a synchronization. And if your iPhone is on the Wi Fi network, it'll move that TV show or movie across. Now, how about if you've got a film on a DVD that you want to put on your phone? The legalities of ripping a DVD for personal use are still very muddled in the US, the UK and Australia. So I've got myself a copy of the 1922 Buster Keaton film Cops on DVD. 
It's now in the public domain, so there's nothing stop me from moving it to my iOS device, as long as I don't also take the audio track with it, which is not yet in the public domain. Now, the program I use to do this is called Handbrake. We want to grab the disc, our DVD disc. I can see here that there are a bunch of tracks on the DVD. 13 seconds, 10 seconds, 10 seconds, 11 seconds. These are all warnings and menus at the beginning of the film. This one is 1 hour 14, so that will be the main feature, which is the general. Uh, and these two are two separate short films, but I don't know which one's which. There's the Balloonatics and there's Cops. So if I click on that one, I can preview it in the preview window. And there I can see that it's the Balloonatics. Buster Keaton at his very best. So I can select the other one, which will be Cops. Now, I can't use the audio because that's copywritten. So I go to None. And I want to set this for the iPhone. Now, if you've got an iPhone 4, you can get a high-res one, but I've just got a 3GS, and uh, that suits me fine. Also, the 3GS will be a quarter the size of it, because it's the quarter of the resolution. Now, the destination. We want to put this file in our Downloads folder, because we're not going to need it forever, and people tend to clear out their da Downloads folder first and foremost. So that's going to our Downloads folder. But what we want it to do is automatically open in iTunes as soon as it's finished. So we set up Handbrake. When it's done, give us a growl notification, play the system alert sound to notify us that it's done, and we're going to send the file to iTunes. When that opens in iTunes, it'll start playing immediately, but more importantly, it'll add itself to the Movies folder in iTunes. And we know what that means. It means that it will automatically set itself to go to our phone and synchronize itself if we've set sync movies. And in doing so, it'll copy that file there and automatically update our iPhone. Now, just to demonstrate here, because it would take so long, it would take too long otherwise, let's just pick the 11 second one, add it to the queue. Now start. Done. Our handbrake cocktail is done. It automatically opens in iTunes. It automatically adds itself to movies, synchronizes the movie, and Bob's your uncle. It is on our iPhone. All right, finally, what if you want to grab an open source film off the internet? For that, We've got a great program called Miro. Miro is wonderful at taking care of your movies. We can go to the Big Buck Bunny website. Big Buck Bunny is an open source film project and it provides itself as a torrent film. So we can download the torrent. Whoosh. So we go there grab the torrent file, you should be able to double click on it and it'll open automatically in Miro, but if it doesn't, just drag it onto Miro and that will start downloading. Now that's going to take a while, so here's one that I provided earlier. Hmm. Hmm. So Big Buck Bunny is open source, we want to move it onto our iPhone because at the moment it is super high res. Look at that. In all its 1080p glory. But that's far too big for us. So we right click, go to convert to, and go down to convert to iPhone. Or if you've got a retina display, grab the iPhone 4 version. I'm always happy with the smaller version because at that size screen, full motion video is going to be much of a muchness anyway. But we click on iPhone. And when we click on that, it will start converting. Now the conversion takes a while. It's processing video. So if we show the conversion folder, we can see that that's sitting under the Miro directory in converted. Now, 
When that's finally done, it'll land in that directory, but it's no good to us there. What we want is another folder action. So we'll start up Automator again. Another folder action. Move that over there. Now what we want to do is we want to move these files, any files that end up in that directory, we want to move them and we're going to move them to a particularly interesting directory, one with its own special functions. We're going to go to Music, iTunes, iTunes Media to automatically add to iTunes. Now when you put a file in here, if it's compatible, it'll go straight into iTunes. If it's not compatible, it'll go into the not added directory. So if you have any problems, check that directory there. But we're going to set it to automatically add to iTunes as soon as it lands there. We're going to save it as add to iTunes. And now when Big Buck Bunny is finished converting, it'll save to the converted directory, automatically be moved to automatically move to iTunes, go into iTunes, automatically be added to the movies and then synchronize with the phone. You don't have to do anything else from that point on. So a couple of seconds left, it'll save into the converted directory. Then the folder action will move it to the automatically add to iTunes directory. And then boom, straight into iTunes. There it is. And there's the automatically synchronize. So there you go. Whether you're buying through iTunes, ripping from a DVD, or converting a file in Miro, it's only one button to put it on your phone and you'll always be entertained on the train. This is Dan Beeston for Mac Tuts Plus. Thanks for watching.